Hey everybody, what is going on? It is Dunbar Snack Bar here with some NCAA Football 13. We've got some more Teddy Crocker coming your way. Remember, this is going to be something that you're going to be seeing just a little bit more often, maybe twice a week while I go ahead and finish up the career of Teddy Crocker before I go ahead and get NCAA Football 14. I have a few ideas about what I'm going to do with that, but... Um, we're going to wait and see. i got to iron some things out here, too, and just kind of think a little bit more about what I'm going to do. But I am pretty sure that I'm going to move Teddy Crocker into Madden for next year, just make a connected career with him as if he gets drafted. Because, honestly, Teddy Crocker is a tremendous halfback, and he shows that here on the first play of the game, picking up four in a situation where I think most running backs wouldn't have been able to even pick up that. So, gosh, that was a big hit, too. He just took that hit and is just going to keep going with it. You don't mess with Teddy Crocker. Do not talk smack to him. All right, so a little counter play here. Second and six. All right, using that reaction time feature. Not able to get across the first down marker here. So we're looking at third and inches, but that's okay. I'm going to go ahead and make sure that I get the first down. So I'm going to switch sides. And it looks like that there is an opening for me. Not able to pick up too much on that run, but, hey, we get the first down. And remember, that was my aim, to keep this drive alive and to keep it going here against Vanderbilt. All right, so, again, going to find an opening. Really nothing too explosive out of Teddy Crocker, though, at the first part of the game. So let's see if we can get just some good stuff going here pretty quick. Another run up the middle. That tends to be my favorite. Uh, type of play with Teddy Crocker, but I just run into everybody, fight so hard to be able to get the first down, and it all pays off right there. Two minutes and 33 seconds left in quarter number one here at the time that I go ahead and receive the handoff. Ooh, just bobbing and weaving around to everybody, get the first down yet again for Teddy Crocker. So even though I haven't had anything too explosive, the fact that we've had a consistent amount of handoffs to Teddy Crocker that have gone for some pretty good pickups is nice for me to be able to see. First and 10 now for Teddy Crocker. And ooh, they're jumping the snaps now. Hopefully my quarterback will be able to mix it up here so that way they're not jumping all these snaps. Otherwise, I am in trouble. Because sometimes the computer just makes a bad call anyway. But Anyway, so I get pulled six to nothing is the score. We got the touchdown, but wasn't able to convert uh, that extra point. So that's okay. Just a little bit more pressure on me here to be able to get another score so that way it's not like Vanderbilt can get a touchdown and be up because that's not cool. So run into the outside here, break a couple tackles, trying to see if I can get past that last defender. I'm not able to, but there is that explosive run that I was hoping to be able to get here in this game early on. Wow, I really like... I don't know how I got past both of those defenders. I mean, I could figure one just with my elusiveness and how I'm able to break tackles. But two, that was crazy. All right, last play of quarter number one here, just running to the left side, only able to pick up one yard, so nothing too exciting right there. I get pulled, and I'm in pretty good field position here. Second and two, just running to the left side. Oh, thank you for that block, and that is enough to be able to get Teddy Crocker into the end zone for the first touchdown for him in this game so that was one of those situations where I really use my lead blockers and it's always something that I'm looking for an opportunity to be able to use here in this game of course that's what all running backs end up doing is using their lead blockers but it looks like Vanderbilt gets a touchdown we're still up though by six points 13 to 7 and I'm able to pick up five yards right there on that run in the outside I'm already at 109 yards and we've got just one second over two minutes here in the first half so things are going good Teddy Crocker on the little draw play able to get the five yards needed for the first down and a little bit more so those draw plays are honestly one of my favorite plays to run in this game just because it works so well and then you have the advantage of you know having a running back like Teddy Crocker you do some great things with those little draw plays all right so I'm gonna go out to the left side not gonna throw it my way all right but that's okay second and five now for Georgia and Teddy Crocker. Going with the deep pass, but uh, there's a fumble right there and we're able to recover it. So it's just gonna be third and really long for us here. There's really not too much that I can do at this point. So I'm just gonna run the route that I'm assigned because really running the ball here would be pretty foolish. 
I'm going to cut up field here just to try to see if I can pull some defenders away from those who may be a little bit closer to the first down marker. We are able to pick up some yards, but not enough to be able to get the first down, so it's fourth and five. We're going to have to end up punting. But, hey, we are in the second half now. Wasn't able to see halftime since I wasn't in. But, gosh, great pickup right here for Teddy Crocker, getting the first down just by a little bit. But now I've got 126 yards. So we're really starting to pile up uh, all the yards here in this game. Little toss to the outside. That works well for me. Cutting inside, that gets me so many more yards here. Wow, Teddy Crocker is just having a tremendous game. So it looks like that every time I get those experience points and I'm purchasing things like to make myself a little bit more elusive or to work on my jukes and my spins and stuff like that, it's really starting to pay off right here. And I am only a freshman or a sophomore, my bad. I forgot. This is the sophomore season of Teddy Crocker. All right, so there is the first down. Oh, come on. Ah, so close from breaking away from everybody, but it looks like Vanderbilt has some speedsters in their secondary who's able to catch up with me. Plus, I didn't run in a straight line, so that probably would have helped him there as well. So Teddy Crocker still doing a great job. Georgia is still on top right now, so there really isn't anything for me to really be complaining about here. So they're going to blitz, and I saw that, so I just run to the right side, and there is another touchdown here for Teddy Crocker in this game. And rather than taking a look at the highlights from the touchdown, we're going to take a look at a few of the highlights here from just Teddy Crocker over the game. And there have been a ton for Teddy Crocker. It's kind of nice every once in a while to be able to play a team like Vanderbilt or some of the other ones I'm going to be playing here pretty soon, which is, makes it a little bit easier for me to be able to get uh, a whole bunch of yards on the ground. But all right, I'm in good shape, though, up by six points right now, 20 to 14. Teddy Crocker picking up four yards here on that run to the right side. We got to keep this going here. We've only got 22 seconds left in quarter number three. Another run up the middle. So lucky I didn't end up going to the opening on the right because it ended up not being an opening very, very quickly. We saw a defensive back just run right through it, or a linebacker, excuse me, and really close that opening very, very quickly. All right, so that's going to be the last play of quarter number three. I get pulled after that one, and Teddy Crocker's back in here with three minutes and 43 seconds left. What a great pickup. Oh, there's another one that was really, really close for me to just breaking free from everybody and getting in the end zone. But my blockers are doing a great job here against Vanderbilt. Uh, there are a lot of games where I'm like, why did you call that or why did you not block? But this has not been one of those games. Everything seems to be going right, but we still have a close game, only six points now. So I was expecting him to be able to just run around me or something. I don't know what it was, but I pick up seven yards, and I could have been able to pick up a lot more had I ran a little bit better. So I ah, run into my offensive line, but that's okay. I break free. I'm able to get the first down here. Three minutes and three seconds left in the game, and we are in scoring position right now. So I'm all about just handing the ball off to me because even if we don't go ahead and get a first down or anything like that, the field goal – that should be enough for us to be able to get past uh, Vanderbilt since it would be a two-possession game at that point. All right, Teddy Crocker with the handoff here. Again, running into my offensive lineman here, but it is 28-14. to 14. So it looks like we got the touchdown and the two-point conversion because I, yet again, got pulled. Second and two now. Got my lead blocker here. Gosh, helps me out. I probably got an extra 10, maybe even more than that. Uh, yards just because of that one block minute 44 left here I'm gonna of course try to go ahead and see if I can get the score look at that able to get the first down here at least so adding some more yards to the total for Teddy Crocker in this game probably being a little bit selfish this might not be the classiest thing to do but that's okay because it is the my player mode and I'm not trying to make any statement at all just trying to make Teddy Crocker look a lot better here by padding those stats and there he goes with a touchdown. That's going to give us 35 points in this game. And that puts the final nail in the coffin here on this game against Vanderbilt. But um, we're going to go ahead and just come back into the game here with only a few more seconds left. So with third and 14, time expires. So Teddy Crocker and the Georgia Bulldogs end up winning this one. So... I do appreciate you guys watching this. You guys know that I care every time that you watch a video. So thank you for that. 
Uh, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Don't forget the Dunbar Snack Bar t-shirt contest. So make sure that you share this video as well as any other ones from this past Sunday on to this next Sunday. And make sure you let me know in the comment section that you ended up sharing the video and how so I can check to make sure that you have. And then I'll pick somebody out of random who fits all of those to be able to win the t-shirt. It's easy as that. So thanks again, you guys. I appreciate it. You are phenomenal people. And as always, I hope you have a good one.